before the Cambrian, whatever forms of animal life we had uh, were far simpler than what we have in the Cambrian. So the, the genetic uh, materials to support the diversity of life in the Cambrian had to appear rather suddenly. It was an explosion of genetic information, uh, very real, and I think inexplicable on Darwinian terms. But there was also an explosion of information of another sort, and that's the information that gets us body plans. Uh, the body plan, uh, as far as we know, is not in the DNA. For example, we know a lot of genes that play roles in development that are very similar in fruit flies and humans. And yet fruit flies and humans have totally different body plans. It turns out that those genes, uh, the, the most impressive ones, the most dramatic ones, are active fairly late in embryo development, long after the body plan is established. So whatever is establishing the body plan, it's something else. And there obviously had to be an explosion of body plans as well as an explosion of DNA information. Certainly DNA is essential. You cannot get an animal without the proper DNA. But developmental biologists know that there's a lot more to development than the DNA. We sometimes hear the notion of a genetic program where the DNA is the, the blueprint for the organism. Uh, that's quite a common image, but in fact, uh, we know that there's a lot of information for development that's not in the DNA. So properly speaking, the DNA is not the blueprint. It's more like a, a parts list. The DNA provides the body, the animal body, with proteins and RNAs and other chemical constituents, but uh, the DNA does not dictate the form of the animal, as far as we know. Well, a house is another good analogy for, for the way DNA functions in the cell. Uh, the DNA, as I said, is like a parts list. Well, I could uh, create 10 different piles of building materials, all of them identical, all of them with, you know, lots of lumber and piping and wiring and nails and roofing and cement and so on. Same thing in each pile. And uh, give each pile to a different person and send them off where they can't see each other and say, okay, build me a house. And the odds that any two of those houses would look the same are very slim. Uh, because with the same materials, you can build all kinds of structures. And uh, it's the same with the cell. The DNA provides the building materials or the list of building materials, but then the cell decides the floor plan. The floor plan is somewhere else, because to build a house, you just can't have building materials. You need, actually, assembly instructions. You have to do things in a certain order. If you build the roof first, you're in big trouble. You have to put the foundation in, you know, the walls, the piping, the wiring. You need a certain sequence here. And you need a floor plan to, to know how to lay out the floor and the walls to begin with, where to put the windows. And uh, the DNA gives us the list of parts, but the rest, uh, for the most part, certainly the floor plan is somewhere else.